So you guys, we're gonna start with superlatives, all right? Grammar presentation here is, this is how we use this. This is the largest city in the world. This is the busiest city. So notice that we have the, we didn't, we didn't use that in the comparative form. So this is when you have, you know, you're comparing one city with all of the cities in the world. So it's a three or more comparison, okay? It's the biggest, it's the tallest, it's the best, okay? So you're gonna take large and you're gonna say largest. You're adding E-S-T and in many cases you're removing the E, okay? And again, with busy, with that Y, you change that to the I-E-S-T. So the busy, this is the busiest city on earth. This is the best city of all. This is the most interesting city on earth. Okay, so why did we use most interesting and least interesting or least expensive? Right, because interesting has four syllables and expensive has three, okay? So when we get above two, we are not gonna use ist anymore. We're gonna use this more interesting, or excuse me, the most interesting or the least expensive. So the most expensive and the least expensive, okay? So let's do this together. It says use superlative adjectives to compare a person, place, or thing with other people, places, and things. So if you're saying this boy is the tallest boy in the class, okay? So you're taking one boy and you're comparing him to all the children in the class, okay? So here the Canadians are the friendliest people I know. That's very true, by the way. I've been to Canada a couple times. Very lovely people. Um, Toronto is the largest city in Canada. So it's comparing one city with all cities in Canada, okay? And then things, the CN Tower is the tallest building in Canada, meaning no other buildings are as tall, okay? There's not a taller building than the CN Tower. Okay, so I think now we understand when to use this. Um, and then we talked a little bit about how we use this, okay? So when... When is when we're talking about one person compared to many and how is form, this is how we form the superlative adjectives, okay? There are several ways to form these adjectives. So first, you're gonna take the adjective and say the tallest, the easiest, okay? There are many spelling changes we, when you add this EST. So largest, you're gonna add there. Biggest is the, you're going to double the G. And then here you're going to change the Y to I and then add EST, earliest. Um, some of them we have irregular forms. Good, bad, and far are the most common ones. Uh, so you're going to say New York City is um, the best city in the world. Okay. Um, she is the best English teacher. Uh, this is the worst lesson I've ever had. <laughs> um, I have traveled the farthest in my family or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so you're measuring length, you know. Um, okay. So then when you have longer adjectives like expensive or interesting, um, you're going to say the most expensive or the least expensive. Okay. Okay. And remember fun, we don't say funnest, we just say the most fun. I don't know why that one is different, it just is, okay? Um, with When you have these adjectives that have L-Y at the end, you're gonna say L-I-E-S-T. So Rio is the liveliest city on earth. Or you can say it's the most lively city on earth. Both of those mean the exact same thing, okay? Um,